What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So there could potentially be a massive change to social security and I want to address what's going on because this would effectively change people's entire financial outlook, their entire financial uh, emergency situation. They are actually going to be prepared and here's what's going on. Okay. Because social security is one of those programs that's always being talked about. It's always being discussed. People have opinions and ideas, yet not much gets done. And it's always because somebody has an ulterior motive. And this is why things are always very slow. However, things could be changing. And I want to address why. So since 1989, millions of Americans have been forced into poverty. They're, they're not, they're, the government is forcing people to stay poor in order to meet the requirements for SSI. And this is what's completely wrong with the entire system. But there could finally be a shift and we could see additional benefits to those that are currently struggling. So here's what's happening. And what I can tell you is that millions of people, okay, many people, are tired of being pushed around and bribed to get what they need and deserve. And the main group of people are those that are collecting social security benefits. So. This is what just happened this past week. Two senators, one's a uh, Republican, one is a Democrat. Senator Sherrod Brown and Senator Rob Portman, both of Ohio. They have a plan. They introduced a bipartisan bill that would actually allow um, Americans to save for emergencies. In their bipartisan bill, what's happening is they're trying to get people on the a, a better path. Okay. Now they introduced a bill that's going to allow people on SSI to have more assets in their name because currently what's happening is individuals can have no more than $2,000 in assets. Married couples, you, you think it goes from two to four, right? No, it goes to three. So you are actually hurting people if they go and get married. Well, Senator Sherrod Brown and Senator Rob Portman, they have this to say. They say, and I quote, it doesn't make sense for SSI's rules to punish Americans for saving for emergencies. Our bipartisan bill would update the outdated rules for the first time in decades and allow beneficiaries to save for emergencies without putting the benefits they rely on to live for at risk. How, how important is, how big is this? Because you go from having $2,000 in assets all the way up to 10,000 or go from $3,000 in assets for a couple all the way up to 20,000. That's a $17,000 jump in assets. Now this is a huge, huge deal. This is big as most financial experts say that everybody should have between three and six months worth of an emergency fund saved up. But when your assets cannot exceed two or potentially $3,000, that's impossible to do. So, Effectively changing this limit will allow for additional savings and this will be huge moving forward, especially in times of high inflation that we are currently experiencing or a potential recession, which some say is inevitable. But that's what you need to keep in mind. And, and if you are collecting SSI, if you are collecting these benefits, you know that you can't have too many assets. You can't have too much because if you do, they take away your benefits. That's where you get screwed. So this is a massive social security change because this is something that we are seeing. Uh, if people have too much money, they make too much money, they have too many assets or whatever, they get screwed. You do not get the benefits that you were promised that you paid into, which is somewhat discouraging. And so what we could see is not only a change to social security uh, income to SSI, we could see this get changed for the entire program for a lot of different recipients. Now, this isn't the first big bill that uh, Senator Sherrod Brown has introduced. This is actually the second bill for Social Security. His first proposed bill for, for SSI, this was actually called the, the SSI Restoration Act. And in this bill, it would bring monthly benefits to 100% of the federal poverty level, and it would have them indexed for inflation. That's big. Well, here's what I can tell you. Currently beneficiaries, they can have 
up to $20 in unearned income each month. Okay, their first $65 in earnings, that's actually exempt from the program's rules. Okay, so it's really 85 bucks. But beyond that threshold, uh, SSI benefits, they get reduced by 50 cents for every dollar of income, okay? And just to give you an idea, these rules, these uh, thresholds have not been adjusted since 1972. 1972. Yeah, what was that, 40 years, 50 years ago? All right, 1970, that's crazy that we are going off of 50 year old rules, 50 year old thresholds, that's insane. So this is huge. This is a massive change that could be coming to social security. But if this doesn't get passed, okay, just to give you an idea, this doesn't mean it's, it's uh, for certain, uh, it's guaranteed it's gonna happen, but if this doesn't get passed, at least one thing it does, gets the ball rolling. Because I can tell you there hasn't been a lot of discussions on social security lately. So this is the good news, is that now people are seeing, oh, we screwed, we messed up. We haven't been providing for, for this group of people. They're still getting these limited benefits or they're still going off of outdated, antiquated numbers. That can't happen. So good news is it looks like something's gonna change. I don't know when, but I promise I'll be looking into this. I will keep you updated on everything that's going on. The good news though, for those of you that are collecting SSI benefits, if this change goes through and this does occur, that would mean for individuals, you could potentially see up to $10,000 in assets. You wouldn't be limited, you wouldn't, your benefits wouldn't be cut. For married couples, you wouldn't just see a 50% jump, it would go 200%. So instead of 10,000, it would go to 20, as opposed to right now where it's 2,000 or married couples get $3,000 in assets, which makes you wonder why would I get married and limit myself by $1,000 in assets? It just doesn't make sense. So right now, that's what we know. But as always, as I know more, I promise I'll come back on, share all latest news and updates. Again, just wanna thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Consider subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next one.